You better keep that data where it belongs. Use real-level security to make sure your users only see the data they're supposed to. Up next on Super Data Brothers. Here we have our Super Data Brothers job posting tracker. You've probably seen this in some of our other Power BI videos if you've been watching. And what we want to do today is have it so that when a user logs into the system and goes to the workspace we're going to publish this report to, they only see the data that is relevant to them. So if someone logs in, they will only see the information for their own department. So data science will only see data science, billing will only see billing, legal will only see legal, etc. Now, how we're going to do that is with something called roles and role level security. So we're going to assign users to roles, and then based on the roles they belong to, they'll be able to see different departments' information. So let's go up here to modeling and then manage roles, and that's how we're going to create the roles. So manage roles. We already have data science created. Um, let me just delete that so I can start from square one with you. All right, so let's create a role. This role is going to be called data science. This is where we define the role, so let's create that. Then you select the table you want to use, and then this part here is for the DAX expression. So what this DAX expression will do is it will run against every single row in the underlying data, and if this DAX expression comes back true, anyone who belongs to this role will be able to view that information. So we're doing data science, so let's start here. So if department equals data science, right? So it's gonna look over here. It's gonna look at department equals data science. So someone with the data science role is going to see this row, this row, this row, but they won't see any of the other roles. Now, if someone belonged to multiple roles, they'd, they, you could, they'd see billing. You know, if they belong to billing, they'd see billing. If they belong to legal, they'd see legal. And so that's inclusive. If, if someone is, belongs to data science and billing, they'll see both data science and billing. I went ahead and cut the video to save time and added some other roles for us to look at. So these are basically the same thing, department finance, department and legal. So we have our three roles we want set up. Now let's go ahead and save that. Now in order to view those roles uh, before we publish it to the workspace, we use this button up here called view as. Let's look up here. View as, let's see what data science, and if everything's set up correctly, we should only see data science. Yep, only data science. Same thing for other ones, let's look at legal. Yep, and now you can select multiple like I was saying. So let's look at legal and data science. Now this person should show both, both legal and data science for the department. Let's click on that. Data science legal, there we go. So go back to manage roles. So this is the, if you look at this DAX expression, this is pretty basic, but it's DAX. So any, any DAX expression you want to test that you will evaluate to true or false, you can do here. So for an example, let me get one more piece. Let's say we also want to look at position type. So data science only wants full-time people, right? So we put this, this and right here. So it's looking at this and it's true. It's looking at this, and it's true. If these are both true, with this and, it'll come back true. So let's go ahead and save that. There we go. So let's go view as. Let's go ahead and look at data science. So data science is only full time. Awesome. So let's go here and add back legal. So data science should only have full time, but legal should have both. So legal has part time as well. Awesome. This is working perfectly. So let's go ahead and stop viewing here and reset everything back to default because we're about to publish our report to our workspace so our users can get access to it. And once we're there, we're going to add the users to the roles we just created. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go up to File, make sure this is saved. All right, it's saved. Publish it. Let's publish to Power BI. All right, let's publish it to our Super Data Demos workspace. Let's select that. Publishing to Power BI. Success. All right, you can either click this or already have it open. So I'm going to tab over and we can take a look at it. So here we have the Super Data Brothers job posting tracker. Right, let's just take a look to see what it looks like. Yep, that looks like the job posting tracker. So now the question is, how do we assign those roles? 
Let's go back up to the uh, Super Data Demos workspace. Let's go to Data Sets and data, data Flows. And then let's go to these uh, more options. And here you'll see security. And it can be a bit confusing because if you go to the report, you'll see other stuff like like manage permissions. And you might think it's managed permissions, but that's who has access to the report, not what data they have access to once they're inside the report. We need to set the access to the roles inside the data set. So let's go here. Let's go to security. Now this is where we assign individuals to the different groups. So let's say uh, I'm part of legal and data science. So let me go add myself to data science. Let's just look for me here. Yep, there's Eric Dolly. Let's add him there. Oh, we have to hit save each time. I always forget that. When you first enter an email address, you have to hit save before going to a different uh, role of a security group. So let's add myself to legal. Dolly, there you go. Let's save that. So I have access to data science and legal. So we've saved that. Let's go back to our super data demos. And when I open the report, in theory, I should only see those two departments. Let's open that. And this number of thousand should be smaller since it's a count of everything I have access to. That did not happen because I'm an admin, which is annoying. All right, so I figured it out. It was because I was an admin. So if you're an admin or a contributor, then you have access to everything regardless of role. But if you're anything lower than that, then the roles apply. So I changed myself to a viewer. So now if I go into this report, it should work. There we go, 246 instead of 1,000. And data science is full-time and legal is full-time and part-time. So yeah, all the, the DAX is working, the, the, the filters on the roles are working. The roles are working and it's published to the workspace and it's all working. So yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you use role level security to control who has access to what data inside of a report and then publish it to a workspace and then assign your users to those workspace and then ship it out for everyone to start using. This is a great way and a quick way to get that, uh, that kind of controlled data out there. I've seen a lot of other videos on this and they get really advanced and this is kind of a basic one. So I think it's pretty good. I know this is the end of the video, so everyone clicked off by now, but thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good day.